Hey guys, what's up? This is the predict outcome for gold and NASDAQ as of the 15th of June, 2023. So the price action on the 15th of June. All right, so you can see here on gold, we have, if you look at the top right corner, we have a low resistance liquidity on conditions. So that means that we are gonna see some large as expansions. Session bias is bullish as predicted at around 4.30 AM EST. And we have a high impact news driver inside of the New York session, right? So as you all know by now, higher prices, okay? One large expansion up. There you go, okay? And you can see that over here, down here, we have an area in which price sold off from. So once we close above it, that becomes an old area of redistribution. Therefore, we can reaccumulate and we can go long from here. Okay, so this wick that you see here, this wick is the long position. Okay, and targeting the Asian high would be like the most easiest buy side target. Okay, so in this case, you can see that between 7.30 and 10, we had a nice bullish move and the day also ended. If you, if you look at your own gold charts, the day also ended bullish. Therefore, making the session bullish outcome true. All right. Okay. Let's look at let's look at uh, Nasdaq. All right. So for Nasdaq, uh, you can see that we have low resistance liquidity run conditions. So massive run on liquidity is incoming. Right. Session bias is bearish, predicted at four thirty a.m. EST. Now we have a high impact news driver inside of the New York session. All right, so now if you look at the result, you can see it failed. So the bearish session bias failed, but the low resistance liquidity run prediction was true. It worked out perfectly, right? Now on days like this, now this is a this is a, a particular case, right? That the session, uh, that the, 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 the prediction of the bias gets a bit erroneous, okay? There's, there's a certain quantifiable relationship in time and price that will allow the condition to remove an erroneous bias, and I am working on that. It's a bit hard. It's a bit hard to code it, but uh, I am working on that so that I can get it, get my developer to fix that. Right. So on days like this, the bias should be flipped. Okay. On days like this, the bias should be flipped, and at by four thirty a.m. EST, the actual output should have been session bullish. Okay. If you compare this with uh, the US five hundred, S and P five hundred, right? You will see that yesterday it provided the correct signal. If I'm not mistaken, it did provide the correct signal. Okay, so session bullish. So if I were to show you guys that, let me show it to you. All right. Here, hold up. All right, so let me see if I can show it to you all. All right, here. Okay, so over here, if you look at US 500, yesterday, right, it did give the session bias bullish. Yeah. See, session bullish, right? So on this, oh, my bad, guys. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at this. All right, so over here, yesterday's price action on yes us 500 you can see that okay it did indeed give an output of session bias uh, being bullish right and so you can see low resistance liquid run conditions so massive run on liquidity boom session bullish boom everything is there and so you would have been a uh, you 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 would have made money on uh, us 500 but with the bias and with uh, with basically with the bias but if you were to use the bias on NASDAQ yesterday or rather on the 15th of June, uh, 2023, then of course you would have had a loser. Okay. So I am working on finding a way to flip that bias based on certain uh, conditions. All right, guys. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Good luck and good trading. All right. Bye-bye.